a storyboard you can do it in code or you can do it in uh, storyboard so the pinterest layout i'm going to select the collection view like this and then over the attribute inspector you see a flow layout the layout like this a property right and you can change it into custom there'll be a class for us to change over here and let's change that into pinterest layout which is the custom class we just created okay now goes over the newsfeed collection view controller like that newsfeed collection view controller and then inside the view did load inside the view did load okay you see this thing the layout over here if the layout is the collection view layout as a ui collection view flow layout so by default we know that it is a flow layout but now we don't want to use it as a flow layout we want to use it as a pinterest layout like that right we want to use it as our pinterest layout and then whenever we have that pinterest layout then we want to make sure that layout dot delegate to be ourself okay so we make sure that we tell this pinterest layout that hey hey i want to be your delegate to do whatever you ask me to do in this case it asks us it asks the controller to give it the photo height and the caption height it's that simple so it will yell at us right now cannot assign the type of your newsfeed collection view controller to typed pinterest layout delegate i know it because it is a type pinterest layout delegate over here the delegate right so we all have to do is creating an extension for newsfeed collection view controller for the um, what's that pinterest layout delegates like that right pinterest layout delegate cool now when we have this thing let's implement collection view photo height like that and we return something like 0, 0.0 right now just right now and then collection view caption height index path return zero like this okay <clears throat> and then let's implement this thing let's implement this thing number one the height for the photo that is pretty simple so let's implement this thing first because the caption you're going to need to calculate the text and the images those kind of things so if let's the post which is our model okay here you can change it into your model whenever you implement this thing into your app so the post is post index path dot item and let's have the photo to be the post dot image like this and then let the bounding rectangle of which is the bound to be cg right with the x position is zero y is zero the width is the width which is uh this width over here right it depends on the width of the cells that this layer object wants to give us and then height is cg float and max float like that now the reason why i make it max float is i want to change the height according to the width okay because an image has the ratio right one to one or nine sixteen nine or a three fourth or something like that the ratio of the image so we shouldn't have set the height right now rather we're going to use this incredibly cool this is so cool before before i didn't know about this right before i didn't know about this so whenever i set the height according to the ratio i have to have to do those dumb calculation very just like arithmetic calculation um it's just like boring right <laughs> then now we know the rectangle we are going to use a v kit here a v mac right okay using aspect ratio inside the rectangle of the bounding right so aspect ratio of the photo dot size we maintain the ratio of the photo dot size and then we put that thing inside the rectangle of the bounding right like that pretty cool huh and then we just have to return the right dot size dot height 
Otherwise, if we don't have the post, if we don't have the follow inside the post, then we just have to return zero. Pretty neat. I think it's so neat. I love this thing. I love this method right here. Okay. Next up, this is the hard meat over here. This is like, gosh, this is like ray steak or something. I don't like it. <laughs> that is, we have to calculate and for our international student, ray steak is like in the United States when you go out to have steak, like beef, they ask you to do whether you, how do you like to cook it, right? Ray or medium or those kind of thing. I usually have medium, but I just don't understand how people can have ray because it's just too much for me. <laughs> Okay, so here, the height to the caption at this index path. So how can we do that? To do this, let's say I want to have a function because we're going to have the text of this thing, right? The text of this thing and then the text here. So let's have a helper method that will allow us to calculate the height of the text. So height for the text and this is a very helpful method. So you can just remember this or make it as a snippet that you can use in your project with a string and with the font of UI font, right? <clears throat> UI font and then with the width of CG float and we return a CG float because it still matters how much space we want to give it the width. So number one, we have to, we have to turn this string into an NS string, which is the all NS string in Objective C before we have Swift, so that we can do those calculations. Let NS string to be NS string with a string of text like this, and then let's the max height. We want to give it just sixty-four point over here. Okay, and then we want to have let the text attribute to be a set of attributes. This set of attributes, you can do a lot of things. Italic, uh, bold, or um, what's that? Underline, colors, links, those kind of things. You can do that a lot of things. If you want to um, get to know about this thing, have a look at documentation or some tutorials about NS string or string in Swift. I believe that is NS string. Okay, so here, let's have the NS font attribute name and I forgot that it also has font too, okay? And also like the, the what is that, the colors around the font or that little border of the font. So very, very neat things in our way that you can do, okay? So the font, we have the font, here we use simple font, like that. And then we do, let's the bounding right to be an S string, the bounding right, with the size of CG size with width here with width of width with height of max height like this the options here we use the options of dot uses line fragmented uh, fragment origin like that and then we do the attribute to be the text attribute the context, we don't need that drawing context, so let's put that as nil. And then we return the ceiling, which is we want to go up, right? We want to route that thing, the seal of bounding right down height. Like that. Cool. Height for right with font. Huh, pretty good. Now, all we have to do is we have to return that thing over here. We have to use that. So if let post equals post subscript index path dot item and we don't need the photo, so let's just leave it there. So let's the top heading of this thing to be a CG float of eight point. Okay, I'm going a little bit faster here because the float, the painting of the text over here, right? There's a little text over here. Okay, let me zoom in so you can see it. You see this? There's a little text over here. There's a little padding from the image to the text. So we want to have that thing, which is eight point, top padding. And then let's the bottom padding to be a CG float of 12. The bottom padding is, is this thing. Um, is it true? No, it's this thing over here, I believe. This thing or this thing. Yeah. And then we do 
Let's the caption font to be UI font. We use the system font size of system font of size. We want to use just 15 font, right? And then let's the caption height to be um, self dot height for our string over here, which is the post dot caption like that with the caption font and the width is width. Now, you may ask, hey, hold on, what if the caption is too high, right? What if there's a lot of captions? And as a matter of fact, if you go into our model over here and you look at the post class, there's a lot of captions, right? So the trick here is that we set the max height of the caption to be 64 points, which is usually three lines of, of text or something. It's the same when you do it in Storyboard with auto layout. We said that, hey, I just want to have maximum of three lines, right? It's the same over here. If it goes way over the three lines, then it's just string down to 64 points. If it goes uh, below the three lines, just one or two lines, then it will be the height that we calculate over here, okay? Okay, now we have the caption height. Next thing, let's have, let the profile image height to be a CG float of 36 point because this photo image over here is 36.